Oh, I've got to go and see Sam. Uh, well, I think it's pop back home anyway. Yeah, I've just got to go and check this thing again. They've opened the hairdress, especially Joe. Yeah, we should even be seeing each other now. Well, you know, I've always been a bit of a real breaker. I'll so be happy with something different then, will you? Why, that's going on? No, nothing. Oh, come on, get going. I don't want your hair just having a sissy. Andy, you haven't asked Ashley to do anything weird with the bows, have you? No. Good, cos you know what he's like when he starts banging on. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. Now, come on. Okay. Mwah. Mm. Bye, bye bye. Do I go on a bit? Right now, yes. I thought you were here to help. Sorry. <laughs> Least I can do in the absence of a church. I'll go and get Val. Good. Because we're farmers, not interior decorators. The price of this material is a flipping scandal. Well, Val says she'd do it for now. And it's only a quid a metre. Yeah. How many metres? Have you confirmed them patio heaters? Yeah, I bought yesterday. Buzzing in the kitchen. Huge vat of beef stew done a posh. Marlon will bring it over later. Great, thanks. And it goes without saying, we are paying for the food and wine. Are you sure you're not going to come, Diane? It's Joe's day, love. If I go, it'll be something else entirely. Does she know about the surprise venue yet? Well, she might call it off when she does. It'll be wonderful. How are you then, son? We've got a miracle to perform on a farm. <laughs> oh, I was just saying to Betty, I could go on for hours and hours. How about you boys? Ah, uh, uh, what Pearl has omitted to say is that we are talking about Viv's dancing competition. Thank God. Paul and I thought we'd partner up. Uh, who with? Each other. That is an outrage. And we live in this village, we pay our taxes. Oh, get off your homosexual eye, or she used today's new. <laughs> so what's your point, lady? Robbing two pensioners of two elegant gentlemen. It, with one of you like to partner me. We'll see. Now, I hope you both come into the Healthy Living Club tomorrow. You both did brilliantly the dance exercise thing. Well, there was just <clears throat> a bit too much jumping up and down for me. It's, it's, it's uh, the force. Of, gra of gravity is not recommended for ladies of a certain age. How do you mean? <clears throat> Downstairs. <laughs> Downstairs where? Anyway, who'd like a sneaky peek at Joe's wedding dress? Oh, oh lovely. lovely. Yes, yes, please. <gasps> we need more time, Victoria. She's panicking. Joe's nearly finished. Have they done baby Sarah yet? Oh, they've given her canny little curls. We'll get at the bog and unravel them. Then tell them she's got nits. Well, it's either that or you're going to have to faint. Joe's not going to be happy. She will be when she sees this dump transform. Sorry. I mean charming, rustic spot transformed into something spectacular. Is Diane heading up that? Yeah. We've donated the wine, things on sticks and all the grub. Diane insisted. I wish things could have been different. Yeah, I know. Right. You better get back and prepare. Oh, Ashley, yeah. it's pig and freezing in here, so don't give her the sermon on the mount. Does anyone else want to offer any advice? Uh, no. Good. I never had him down as an ecclesiastical diva. A divvy, maybe he's been on a diva. Oh, just uh, come through. Bring them this way, lads. How much are that lot going to cost? It's January a tight so-and-so. I'm not dressed as in the nook of the north for a laugh. But don't people get dehydrated and die at these events? That's a marathon, you ninny. Everyone just dances until one of the judges tells you to nap off and the last couple in wins, and that'll be us. I'd like to register. £20 entrance. 20 quid? Yeah, it's for Viv's Kids Charity. And I'm chasing a huge celebrity judge as we speak. Well, can't be that huge. <sighs> Plus, we're going to give a prize. Oh, not old stock again, love. You're not supposed to eat chocolate with a bloom, no matter how slight. Never did me any harm. Fart from there, isn't it, Jess? I heard that! So, you got a partner, then? Louise. Oh, what, by video link? Louise? Yeah, I'll be practising till she gets back. You can practise till hell freezes over. Well, I think it's lovely. Yeah, I'll practise with you. Over my dead body? Yes, yeah. please. I mean it, Bob. 
Hiya. He's your man. What? Oh. Yeah, he's won competitions and everything. Shut up. Da, 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 Terry, run. Terry. Oh, I've changed my mind. Oh. Oh, Terry, wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whose side are you on? Ah, oh, yet another edifying village event. I know for a fact she pulled those curls out. I was only following orders. Shush. Hey? The thing is, Joe. Look, I just want a straightforward wedding. I don't want any stunts or out daft. Please tell me he's not gone and got that hot air balloon again. I can categorically tell you, you're not getting married in a balloon. Oh, good. Or a church. What? What did he say that for? Huh? Ooh. Went for up for inspection, please. Um, what's he doing here? Oh, you'll see. Um, and what's this about the church? What have you said? It was him. <gasps> Joe. What? Do you trust me? Oh, only with the goats. Look, just trust me, OK? You, you, you're going to be bored over it. It's, it's, it's all going to be revealed. Um, yeah. Hello. Uh, I, I was just wondering if, uh, if somebody worked there. Well, obviously I meant somebody in particular. Never mind. That's the second time today I've seen him looking guilty with a telephone book. Perhaps he knows he's about to make a fool of himself. It's not the old uh, 0898 numbers again, is it, Jimmy? Any chance you could just butt out? <laughs> Matthew. What? I thought we could talk, but I'll take you in and contact her. I don't know what you mean. Shame you're not as good a liar as Kelly was. Break your heart again if you must. Val! And that's really Andy's favourite? Yeah. Well, that's men for you. Mother, Joe, you look fine. Yeah, it'll do. Well, I'm glad you came. Now, if that was a going away outfit... Because mm, it certainly ain't no wedding dress. Well, it's all I've got. Look, I'd better get changed out of it. It's too early anyway. Hey, Joe! Always time for a last-minute change. Is that for me? Isn't that Laurel? Just beyond belief. Uh, do you still hate it? Kiddies in sweatshops haven't worked as hard as he has. Only because you did a disappearing act. Yeah, well, I kept pricking my fingers. She doesn't want it drenched in blood. Oh, it's gorgeous, Paul. I don't know what to say. Ah, ah, ah. Don't start squirting. Those lashes cost 30 quid. They'll be off. Oh, God, I'm turning into Jack. <laughs> I need dinner going. What's up? I think me and Jimmy have finished. Why? Dunno. Do you dump you? No way. Dumped him. Well, then you must know why. <sighs> I still got feelings for Kelly. <clears throat> and? Well, isn't that enough? Well, what do you expect? She was the love of his life. She would have never made him happy. Maybe not, but he never got a chance to find out, did he? We've always been supportive of us seeing each other. So when he sticks his nose in my private life, yeah. People make successful relationships in all sorts of ways. Do they? You've never been a head over heels sort of person anyway. More of a, I don't know, sensible, practical type. What? Well, I'm not gonna lie to you. And God said, let there be light. And that was it, straight through the church roof, and it was knackered. So we can't have it there. Why are you laughing when you should be crying? Shut up. And why is it so warm in here? Surprise! Oh, have you done all this today? Right, we told you you had to have faith. I suppose you knew about this. Val said to spray all Sarah's curls. Well, someone had to take control. Ashley's been given the OK to do it here. Well, we fit everyone in. Well, it's just going to be us for the service. Uh, then everyone later for the shindig. Is that right? It's better than all right. It's perfect. Two, three, and back again, and rest. Wonderful.
school. You see, five minutes ago he could barely walk, let alone dance. You've either got it or you haven't. You should be paying me double for that. He'd probably pay you triple just to leave him alone. <laughs> you got yourself a partner yet? I'm sure you're no stranger to a fandango. Oh! <laughs> chance that you and Jimmy could sponsor my competition in some hugely ostentatious manner? Absolutely no chance whatsoever. Coffee, please. Where's your community spirit? Carrie, we still having that meeting? Sorry, too busy to chat. Well, you know what she's like. Mm. It's this place. Everyone's in on everyone else's business. I feel constantly poked and prodded. Yeah, well, my hands are above the tape. <laughs> Ask you a question. Go ahead. Would you describe me as sensible? Definitely. Wrong answer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> What's wrong with being sensible? I don't know. It's just oh, I used to be passionate about things and people. Jimmy, not up to scratch. I wish I could blame you. I think it's me. I've changed. You can tell Nicola I'm expecting her lot to tip up with some sponsorship. I should never have come here. Hey, you're right. Fancy going to the pub? I don't mean here. The village. Hey, up, Jimbo. We're going to try that new place outside Coddleton. We'll call it Research. No, Tom. It's got a star. I don't care if it's got fireworks coming out of the head waiter's jacksy. Oh, dear diary. Woke up today without my beloved Carrie Boo Hoo Plupper Plupper. I hate him sometimes. Well, don't tell him. He'll only make his day. She told me she loved me. I panicked. <laughs> well, I'm glad you find it funny. Well, it's just the idea of a woman. Well, any woman saying she loves you. <laughs> Next time I see that Lawrence Llewellyn boy, I'm going to shake his hand. Why? Well, see him a lot, do you? I had no idea. Faffing about with fairy lights was such hard work. <laughs> it's all in the detail, you know. <laughs> Shall <laughs> I put this to the all or should I just pin it on? Oh, come here. Well, I'm glad it's just us for the service. Why? Well, cos half the village think we're crackers. I now pronounce you husband and wife. That pithy enough for you? You've a visitor. It'll be the feed guy from Marshall's. OK, listen, I'm gonna need them in about an hour. OK, bye-bye. Uh, listen, um, sorry to burst in on you like this. Has Joe invited you? Do you ever listen to your messages? I dropped the case. I've been busy. We're getting married. Right, um, listen, I'm really sorry, but you're not. What? Well, the judge has got to go into hospital on Friday, so we need to get you down today. What time? Well, as soon as. But that's ridiculous. And you'll be much better off today with Phipps Jones than you would be with the other judges on Friday. Should I risk it? Well, yes, if you want to be arrested. <laughs> well, that's the point of bail, Andy. You have to be available to the court, and the court wants you now. C can I not uh, appeal? Listen, you'll be OK, but we need to prepare. Jimmy Pepper was up in court not long after I got with him. Didn't we say we wouldn't mention court? Did he get sent down? Yeah, I was gutted. About Jimmy Pepper? Yeah, gutted he didn't get life. I sent loads of complaint letters to the judge, but he said he couldn't stretch it that far for shoplifting. Joe. Hey, I know we're not exactly sticking to tradition, but come on. I need to talk to you. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's appalling timing. Henry Burton, Andy Solicitor. Have they dropped the case? It's all switched round. I'm getting sentenced today. Can we not even get married first? <sighs> right, well... That's the way it is. It can be helped, can it? You know what? As soon as I'm gone, I want you to pack your bags and get as far away from me as you possibly can. Don't you ever say anything like that again, do you hear me? I don't want to go. Um, Andy, we need to talk. It's coming. It's, it's coming all right. You've surpassed yourself. As you say every time I do a cake... I'm going to touch you. And die. Hey, isn't that the old new healthy Betty? Oh, healthy. I'm breathing, aren't I? At my age, that's the bonus. Oh, the, the, um, the village hall's busy tomorrow afternoon. 
Oh. Well, couldn't we have the meeting here? The bar's no place for health. Oh, I don't know. The odd glass of red wine's positively beneficial. <laughs> and I would be saying that. Very loud. <laughs> plus, plus, I'll, I'll be demonstrating recipes that coincidentally link up to the food I'm doing here. Oh, go on then. But I want people care-like and skint by the end of it. Oh. Oi! Um, you know, they're having a wedding up at the farm later. I do. It's very funny. You're gonna be there. I've got a pub to run. Are you okay? Um, you'll have to bring the goats in, Sam. Yeah, I know. And milking's at four, so they don't like getting messed around, so it'll be forceful. Oh, like every other day. <laughs> well, I need to keep on top of things. Um, I just need a minute with Andy. All right. All right, come on then, everyone who's come in. We're off. See you later, Andy. Oh, baby. Yeah. He won't, will he? You look fine. I don't want to go. Andy, you've got your family behind you. You're not on your own. One minute, then I want you in the car. Seeing as it's a nice day. Oh, is there a treat coming? Why don't we go up to Home Farm? I've got some hyacinth bulbs we can pot. Well, it's only a freezing cold polytunnel. You seem to like it. Well, maybe it's because I get to be by myself up there. Well, in your house, I'm always a guest. Yes, well, I hope I'm a more polite host. You didn't even share your flask last time I popped in. Have you entered the dance competition yet? Mm. What's the entrance fee? Didn't mean you, Edna. Didn't you? Uh, um, why not, Edna? Desist. Yes, why not me? You'll be too busy. Uh, we need someone on teas. <laughs> no, if you say so. Come on, her money's as good as anybody. It is for charity. Encourage her. You do know your sister's a bit of a champ, the old tango? Really? Mm -hmm. Yes, well, I'm well past that sort of silliness. Oh, how did I know you were going to say that? Ah! Tell her, Terry. Scare the pants off of her. I'm coaching Jamie. Why? But it's for your charity! Yes, but why? Well, as Jamie so rightly pointed out... Louise will castrate him if he doesn't. Call yourself a man. After castration? No, probably not. I've already started. Should we show him tell? Oh! Well, it's going well, then. Yeah. <laughs> to me? What to you? To me? Yes, Sandy. Yes. Would you like to partner me in the dance competition? Oh, dear lady, I'd be charmed. <laughs> After yesterday. Oh, yeah, sorry, I, I forgot. You were terrible. Oh. Rats. Well, I've asked everyone else I can think of. I'll have to make do with you, Alan. Well, I'm rather insulted to be at the bottom of your list. However, I shall have to decline. I'm already spoken for. <laughs> I've snapped him up. Oh, aren't you the lucky one? even though you have got a bad trotter. Well, it's much better. Well, I happen to be rather light on my feet. And heavy everywhere else. <coughs> oh, charming. Oh, you talk to my floorboards. If they could speak, they'd weep. Oh! Dan's so we can have the meeting tomorrow. We're dry running the whiteboard. Yeah, we'll have it to do. You may as well, since there won't be a do for any of us now. Is she on a break? What's up? The decrepit old judge is having his hip done on Friday. Sorry, decrepit people. Andy's getting sentenced. Oh, when? Um, this afternoon. Didn't get as far as the service. Oh, no! How are they? Scared. Oh. What happened to your posh restaurant? Our charming brother complained about his starter. <laughs> like a bulldog let loose in a kitten shop, no doubt. Yep. And they chucked us out. Oh, the power of a Michelin star, eh? So where is he now? 
Pablo's Pizza Palace in Hotton. Right then, about you and your love life. Or should I say, Carrie's love life and your wobbly, frightened face. I'm not scared. I'm more ambivalent. And you've learnt a new word. You see? She's having a positive influence on you already. Hmm. The lad was white with fear. Who's Jack with him? Old Sharabang heading off. He doesn't need me, then. No, he needs his mother. But she was burnt in a barn, which is what this is all about. And you are the next best thing. Are you going? Stop changing the subject. It's not fair of you to put pressure on me. All right. Have it your own way. But don't come crying to me when you feel guilty later. Will they still be needing the wedding food? Yes, let's keep up the pretense, shall we? Oh! Selfish self-pity. You are okay, Will? You know I will. <sighs> Can't even think straight. Daz, can you take Sarah for a minute? Come here, Sarah. Come on. Good girl. Well, what plans have we made? What we're gonna do? Talk to me. I don't know. Yeah, you do. Build a farm up. <laughs> Typical of you. Farm comes first, eh? Look, I've been thinking and even if things even if you do have to go away for a bit, we can still make those plans for me to adopt Sarah. Would you like that? Yeah. You don't sound too sure. <sighs> it's all right. It'll be all right. Jack, just give us a minute. Too, but not in front of her, not in front of Sarah. It'll upset her. Look, just take a few deep breaths, all right? I feel sick. It'll pass. You should have brought sandwiches in a flask. <laughs> no. No. I've known him since you were a little lad. It's all right, Betty. I'm here as a friend of the family. Sorry. Do us a favour, Betty. Anything, love. We take Sarah to the park while this is going on. I don't want to hear her in the corridor. Who's the best girl in the world? Yeah. And who's the best daddy? Yeah. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Another one. Are you going with Betty? Have a lovely time, okay? Not too many sweets. Come on, little princess. I just want to get this over and done with. So come on, everyone. Cheer up. So, here's your choices. You can have a happy, settled life with a woman who's ready for that and who loves you. Crazy woman that she is. Yeah. Or in the absence of Kelly, you can join me and Grumpy Pants for yet another takeaway on our knees tonight in front of the TV. And every other night. You went out last night. To the pictures. On my own. God, that's desperate. <laughs> that's my point. It's three words, Jim. I can't just pretend that I love her. Why not? If it buys you some time. Very, right, won't it? Andrew Sugden. So you'll be going off the rails, all right? I know. Well, look after the farm, look after Joe. If you get to any bother, you'll have me to deal with. All right, keep your hair on. Andy! I had to come. 
I'm so glad you did. What have they said? Henry's open for a year and we're six months inside. I've got to go. I know, I know. I love you, sweetheart. Will you be all right out here? Can we keep the pens? No. Right. Well, thank you all for coming. Well, it's not as if there's anything else to do, what with the wedding off. OK, let's just let's try and remove that from our minds. But I'm only saying it cos I'm worried. Uh, well, they won't be wanting the fool then, will they? Less greed, more concentration. Look, we all made a great start yesterday with a fitness class, so hope you're all joining up for Viv's dance competition. 20 quid that's costing. Oh. Yep. Uh, plus. oh. For charity. Oh, that's what they ought to see. Can we just get started, please? Yeah. Oh, this diet and an exercise and charity. It's all to try and con money out here. OK, OK. What if I was to say I can make you look five years younger in five weeks? Do I have to stop drinking? Nope. Oh, hey. Hey. And Dad is going to buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird don't sing, Dad is going to buy you a diamond ring. Hey, 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 wouldn't that be lovely? Oh! Mama? Yeah! Because we can. And I can confirm that Your Honour has received the case law relevant to sentencing and the range of custodial sentences the court should consider imposing. Yes, Miss McPherson, I am aware. As well as the miraculous escape of Mr Richie Carter from the fire that night, if Your Honour would like to acquaint himself again with the date of the offence. November the 16th, 2000, yes. Seven years. Even taking into consideration the descendant's age when the offence was committed, his mother died. A woman, it is claimed, he adored. And seven years is all the time in the world to come forward and admit guilt. I would argue far too long a time. And therefore, I can't help wondering just how guilty he was feeling for seven years. Now, face count. No. I know you're thinking quiche. You're thinking double cream, chunks of bacon, plenty of fatty shortening for the pastry. But, oh, but, it doesn't have to be that way. Oh, now you've gone and spoilt it. Not writing anything down, I see, Sandy. No, uh, Alan's doing it for me. No, my, my notes, my file. So where do the fruity friends come into it? Oh, here she goes. Yeah, but no, but in at the back. But you put it on the list, fruity friends. Fruity... What? No, I haven't. Yes, you have. Halfway down. Fruity friends. Are you blamed? No, but somebody is. What is she... Do you mean... That's this fromage fray, Valerie. Does it? <laughs> yes. But, uh, do you want to borrow my specs? I was only joking. Well, don't! <laughs> Should we take a break? Yes, please. <laughs> Just in here. Right. Be nice. I'm always nice. Well, be nice with knobs on. <clears throat> Mum? I'll be in the kitchen. Right. I didn't mean... Look, why don't we just move on, eh? Because... I'm not sure that that's what we both want. Andrew Sugden voluntarily admitted what happened that night, November 16th, 2000. He had nothing to gain except face his conscience and accept his guilt. He was under no pressure to come forward, particularly now as he has a young child, a thriving farm, and was just about to marry his fiancée. Today, as it so happens, now, if I could draw Your Honour's attention to the pre-sentence report, 
which recommends a suspended sentence with probation and psychological sessions for the purposes of treatment. I've said all the wrong things. That's not so much what you did say as what you didn't. But do you really love me? Because when you've been let down like I have, it's really hard to believe. Especially when I pay for Scarlet's date and you end up slapping me. Forget about that. I've been straight with you. I just need a little bit of that back. I want us to be a family. And I really think I do love you. Yes, I do. Like I said, you're a terrible liar. I'm not lying! Yeah, but you're not sure, are you? And you never will be. <sighs> and I will not accept being second best. Who's talking about second best? On a more personal note, and having spent many hours with the family, I'd ask Your Honour to accept from me that Andy has felt guilt every single day since Sarah Sutton died. Now, since then, he's been of good character, dedicating his life to hard work. And his father, Jack, assures me that Sarah herself would be incredibly proud of his achievements and the effort he's put into making a decent and honest life for himself and for those around him. Now, given the exceptional circumstances of the case, I submit that it would be right to suspend sentence. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Look, it's simple, Jimmy. All you've got to do is count to three. You keep changing that. How? You keep putting an and in. You just did one, two, three and one, two, three. That's a polka. This is a what? No, no, this is you shouting at the top of your voice. You're better off being taught by Vin. I resent that. All right, I'm on. Not think of your gonads. I never really liked you. And one, two, three. Mr. Burton has spoken eloquently on your behalf and has said everything that could possibly be said. However, a woman, your mother, died that night and it was only due to the bravery of others that there weren't two deaths. Well done, gentlemen. And let me apologise for initially not being able to read your silly board. Well, nothing a set of jam jar bombs won't fix. I had a sea of pensioners' heads in front of me. Uh, uh, Staff only. Well, I, I, I need some advice. Oh, Mother. Uh, not, not him, you. Ah, uh, you see, I told you they love you. I have this friend. And she's having trouble with her pelvic floor. Mm. Oh, right. The gravity thing. Oh, shh. Is it Edna? Uh, I'll get you a drink. Mr. Carter was very lucky to escape with his life. And, as Miss McPherson rightly points out, seven years is too long to wait for justice for Sarah Sugden. Consequently, given the seriousness of this case, I feel I have to pass a deterrent sentence. No! That's not fair! He's got a little girl! Please don't do this! <laughs> How could you do that? It was a kid! It was only a kid! Take him down! This is not who I said you duck don't get! It was the king! Look at me, Andy! Andy, look at me! Don't look down! Put your head up! You keep your head up, Andy! Look at me, Andy! We're doing it. Oh, can't speak, you're putting yourself. We are doing it, though, aren't we? We're brilliant. Oh, can I be the man next time? Oh, shut up and keep dancing. And one, two, three. That's it. And we go on the two. Oh, you're getting high now, Sarah. Ooh, look at that. 
Mind you don't fall. Mind you don't fall. And we're going, oh, wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. He got the ring. Oh, no. I'm going to start your appeal straight away. Andy, I am so, so sorry. My phone is still here. Um, I don't know. Time to go. I'll be doing everything I can, I promise. Take care. Just, um... Yeah, you said. They're bringing him out around the side. Tell the truth. Yeah, yeah, look where he got him. I blame you. He didn't mean it. Diane, it's me. You've been gone hours. I'm beginning to think you've been banged up. Oh, I can't see that. Where's the damn delete? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Bye. Anything? No. Can you feel it? Yes. No, wait, you're supposed to hold your muscles, not your breath. <sighs> going blue. Oh, it's a proper marvel, this one. I'll never have an involuntary wee again. Mrs. Latterbanks, <laughs> do you have a, a partner for the dance? He's on my reserve list, so, so back off. Is he everybody's partner at all? Ah, the early bird. Although I do have my secret weapon. Oh, you can whistle. Oh, come on. Women danced together during the war. There's always a war on somewhere. Hey, are you really so good that Viv wanted to keep you out? Well, she seems to think so. Oh, please. It'll be fun. Dad. Ladies. Same again while I'm there. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> Either you partner me or I'll break up his marriage. And you know I can. That is wicked. Do you mean that in a good way? I, uh, Jack Ryan. You heard then? Where are the others? In the house. Um, you, you don't mind, do you? No, you carry on.
never take your advice again. OK. Three years. No! And in future, when you leave a highly inappropriate message, press delete and start again. I tried to, but I couldn't... Look, never mind that. Was he all right? Would you be? his best. You been here, Wigan? It's the only way I get to learn anything, the amount of barefaced lies I get told. It would never have worked. Jimmy would have been far better than nothing, which is all you've got now. Let's face it, it's all you've had for years. I thought we had a life together. I won't be around forever for you to hide behind. <laughs> what happened to my sweet kid? She grew up. Have you told them yet? It'll filter out soon enough. Sorry I was rotten. I take it it didn't go too well for you, personally. Dad said it was all my fault. And he's right. You said that months ago. Me? That I felt old and I fluttered me lashes. No. And I destroyed Billy's life. It's not connected. It's all part of the same vile mess. And I've more than played my part. I'm sure Andy was glad you were there for him. Jack said Daz didn't mean it. Poor Jack. I wish I could comfort him. But I can't. I couldn't resist. You look stunning. And you will wear it. Yeah. Of course I will. It'll do for the dressing up box and now else. She's asking for you. I'm sorry, Jack, I can't. Please come inside, it's freezing. Everyone's looking at me. You know, everyone's expecting me to know what to say to her and how. How do I tell her that everyone she loves leaves her? You know, there's Debbie and... And then Emily, now, and now her dad. <laughs> Don't look at us like that. I love that kid. Come inside, then. Give her a cuddle. She needs you. You know, all I wanted was a family. But you have one. You've made this one. Look, you and me didn't get off to a good start, did we? I, I judged you totally wrong. Well, I did nick him off Katie. Oh, you never really got on with her. I watched you today, and you pulled him through it when he was falling apart. And everything else you've done here, it's incredible, Joe. And he loves you, and he trusts you. <laughs> I never got to say goodbye. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Is she had a tea? Betty did it. All right, I'll be in in a minute, all right? Don't worry about him. Harmless enough. I think it's all in order. And then on Friday or Saturday, we're going to go to this massive building and guess who we're going to see? Yes, Daddy. We're going to go and see Daddy. And you're going to take him one of your special pictures because he loves your pictures, doesn't he? Yeah? Well, for one horrible moment, I thought she was going to run for the hills. No. Turned out to be quite a girl, that one. <laughs> All right, Andy? Yep, cheers. Good lad.
next on ITV1. Welcome to another all-star who wants to be a millionaire. The show that changes people's lives every single week, but on these charity specials, just one...